Shalom and welcome back for another amazing parasha adventure with Jacob, Joseph, and his brothers in V.A. Yeshev. In Hebrew, V.A. Yeshev means, and he settled. Jacob stayed in the land of Canaan where his father was a stranger. Jacob's youngest son, Joseph, at the age of 17, was in the field playing with his brothers, the children of Zilpah and Bilhah. He returned home to his father Jacob and told him of the things his brothers were doing. Jacob loved Joseph more than his other children because he was the child of his old age. This made his brothers very jealous of Joseph. One night, Joseph had a dream. The next morning, he shared his dream with his family. He said, They were binding sheaves in the field, and my sheaf arose and stood upright, and your sheaf stood round about and bowed down to my sheaf. His brothers were troubled and said to Joseph, Shall you reign over us? Or shall you have dominion over us? And his brothers hated Joseph the more because of his dreams. The next evening, Joseph had yet another dream and shared it with his family again and said, The sun and the moon and the eleven stars were loyal to me. And his father scolded Joseph and said, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall I and your mother and your brothers indeed come to bow down ourselves to you? This made Joseph's brother the more envious of him. But they left and went to Shechem to feed their father's flock. And Jacob said to Joseph, Aren't your brothers in Shechem feeding the flock? Come, and I will send you to them and tell me whether your brothers and the flocks are doing well. Joseph journeyed on as his father instructed him and came upon Dothan where he found his brothers tending their father's flocks. And his brothers saw Joseph coming towards them and said to one another, Look, here comes the dreamer. And one of the men said, Let us murder him and dump him in a pit and say some wicked beast came and devoured him. And the eldest brother, Reuben, heard what his other brothers were planning to do to Joseph. He then helped Joseph and told his other brothers, Do not kill him. Shed no blood, but cast him into a pit in the wilderness, but lay no hands on him. And they did just that. They cast Joseph into a pit with no water and then sat down to eat. Later they saw a caravan coming and they sold Joseph to the caravan of Ishmaelites from Gilead for thirty pieces of silver. They went back home and told their father Jacob that Joseph was destroyed by a wild beast of the field, and Jacob was greatly distressed and wept for Joseph a long time. The Ishmaelites took Joseph to Egypt and sold him to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian. Joseph worked for Potiphar for many years. And Adonai was with Joseph and prospered him and the house of Potiphar for Joseph's sake. But one day, Potiphar's wife saw that Joseph was a handsome young man and tried to seduce him and lure him to be intimate with her. But Joseph refused and ran away. Potiphar's wife lied about the incident and Joseph was put into jail. Potiphar made Joseph the keeper of the prison and put everything under his charge. And Adonai was with Joseph and continued to prosper him. While Joseph was the keeper of the prison, one day Pharaoh's cup holder and bread maker ended up under Joseph's charge. They both had a dream and told it to Joseph and said, But we don't know what it means. Joseph said, Dreams belong to Adonai. And Joseph interpreted the dreams for them and said to the cup holder, In three days you will go back to Pharaoh and continue your work. And to the baker, he said, In three days you will be hanged from a tree. This is the end of our parasha. We hope you join us next week for another amazing adventure. Shabbat Shalom.